हेलो नमस्ते मैं हूं डॉक्टर सौरभ एंड वेलकम टू साइंसिया ब्रेन ब्री सो इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल सी दैट हाउ द बैम्बू फ्लावरिंग इज पॉजिंग ए थ्रेट टू बाय लाइफ हाउ द फ्लावरिंग इन बैम्बू इज एक्चुअली ए सीरियस कंसर्न और इज ए सीरियस डेंजर टू द बाय लाइफ सो यू कैन रिलेट दिस टॉपिक विद एनवायरमेंट बायोडाइवर्सिटी एंड कंजर्वेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन so you can see that uh, this is the news of uh, last week uh, last week news in the hindu that uh, gregarious bamboo flowering in pinard by life century a threat to by life okay so what do you mean by actually firstly what do you mean by the gregarious okay gregarious flowering means that when all the plants of a particular species when all the plants of a particular species they flower at the same time and regardless of and that is regardless of their geographical location or climatic conditions means the bend the flowers mean the plants of a particular species jab kisi ek particular species ke jo plants hote hain they flower at the same time and that is regardless of their geographical location and climatic conditions and after the flowering they die a few years later so that is this type of behavior in the plants actually that is termed as the gregarious flowering okay when the plants die after the flowering actually so you can see that gregarious bamboo flowering so gregarious flowering means when all the plants of a particular species they flower at the same time regardless of their ge geographical location and climatic conditions and then they die they die after the flowering so that is gregarious so it has been reported that the gregarious flowering of the bamboos okay inside the binaid by life century okay and uh, in the mudumalai tiger reserve and uh, simultaneously in the gudalur forest division in the tamil nadu actually that is posing a serious threat to the by life in the nilgiri biosphere reserve okay actually all these centuries they come under the nilgiri biosphere reserve whether it is binar by life century or it is mudumalai tiger reserve okay so they comes under the nilgiri biosphere reserve and uh, it has been seen that especially in the binar by life century that uh, the gregarious flowering of the bamboos actually so that is causing a serious threat to the by life in that century okay so if you see that uh, that like i was telling you that uh, this uh, the, all these uh, means centuries they come under the nilgiri biosphere reserve okay so if you talk about the nilgiri biosphere reserve in brief if i tell you about the nilgiri biosphere reserve so nilgiri biosphere reserve it is actually it is found in the southern states of the uh, india and uh, nilgiri biosphere reserve and uh, this uh, biosphere reserve actually it was uh, declared as a biosphere reserve under the man and biosphere program of the unesco okay and this is a, a mega biodiversity hotspot also and uh, actually it covers the states of uh, this biosphere reserve actually it covers the area in the three states that is tamil nadu kerala and karnataka okay and uh, you can see that this uh, nilgiri biosphere reserve actually it is an international biosphere reserve in the western ghats and the nilgiri hills ranges of south india okay and this uh, nilgiri biosphere reserve it has an area of 5000 more than 5000 km square area and uh, which cover which is covered in the state of tamil nadu karnataka and kerala okay so if you see that in the nilgiri biosphere reserve there are different protected areas under this nilgiri biosphere reserve there are different protected areas like you can see that uh, nagahorle national park about this i have discussed in the my pre one of the previous lecture okay then bandipur national park mudumalai tiger reserve okay silent valley national park binard by life century and there are other biosphere reserve area under this nilgiri biosphere reserve okay and if we talk about the binard by life century uh, means uh, in which particularly the this said it has been found that uh, gregarious bamboo flowering so this binard by life century it is an animal century in the binard kerala in the binard district of the kerala and uh, this in kerala in the which is southern state in the india okay so actually it the main uh, habitat species in this uh, uh, binard by life century okay so you can see that uh, the main habitat of this binard by life centuries are elephants tiger indian bison and deer so they are the main habitat species or you can say the main by life creatures of this 
बिनाड बाय लाइफ सेंचुरी ओके इन एलिफेंट्स टाइगर्स इंडियन बाइसन एंड डियर सो एक्चुअली व्हाट हैज हैपेंड इन द बेंबू ग्रुप्स इन दिस बिनाड बाय लाइफ सेंचुरी ओके दे आर द मेन स्टे ऑफ दिस बाय लाइफ क्रिएचर्स ओके मींस दिस हर्बिवोर्स दे आर द मेन स्टे दिस बेंबू ग्रुप्स एक्चुअली इन दिस बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द बायोस नीलगिरी बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व ओके so actually when uh, during the with the advent of the summer so these wildlife uh, herbivores they from the nearby or adjacent centuries they start moving to the this binard wildlife sanctuary because uh, here they find their natural means uh, main stay of main stay of a bamboo groups okay so with the advent of summers from the nearby centuries these uh, wildlife herbivores they start migration to this binard wildlife sanctuary and uh, we can see that uh, in means in the in search in search of uh, food and water okay so you can see that uh, how important is this binard by life century and how important are the bamboo groups in this by life century okay so actually what is happening so you can see that uh, this greek uh, it has been reported that uh, uh if this uh, this binard by life century okay it is uh, it covers an area of uh, more than 300 uh, square kilometer area okay and uh, these bamboo groups they are found in bamboo groups are found in about 500 hectare area of uh, this binard by life century but now it has been found that the most of the bamboo flowering bamboo groups means you can say that about 25% they have shown the gregarious flowering actually and uh, so you can see that the gregarious flowering it may adversely affect the migration especially by the elephants wild boar and other lower herbivores owing to the mass destruction of the bamboo groups after the flowering because i told you the gregarious gregarious flowering means that uh, so after the flowering the plants the plant species actually die so if they have come to the flowering this bamboo species in this binard by life century they have come to the flowering so that's why this there is they are posing a serious threat to the by life okay because definitely after the flowering there will be a mass destruction of the bamboo group bamboo groups okay so that is a serious concern actually and uh, if in brief i tell you about the bamboos so you can see that uh, bamboos they are the largest uh, tall grasses comes under the family of gramini family and uh, they are the means that they are considered as a perennial grasses and under the sub family bamboo so day okay and uh, in the world there are about uh, 1200 bamboo species in the worldwide and india is the major uh, hot spot of the bamboo species you can see that about india is the home to 130 bamboo species and uh, in india particularly if i say about in india that uh, northeast is the major hot spot of uh, bamboo species in india actually if you talk about the you can see that in the manipur alone you can find 53 species of the bamboo while in the arunachal pradesh you can find 50 species of the bamboo so bamboo you can see that if i if i talk talk about the different uses of the bamboo so you can see we can have that you can see that uh, more than 1500 documented traditional uses of the bamboo has been reported okay so more than 1500 okay so you can see that uh, different musical instruments it uh, it can be used in the different magic musical instruments okay then uh, it also serves as a some species i also serve as the source of food for the people so it's, it's seeds and it's uh, seeds it seeds and shoots especially they serve as the source of the food for the people and then these bamboo stems and uh, leaves they also serve as the source of uh, food for the livestock also okay and they yeah the different uh, musical instruments are uh, uh, they are also made up of this bamboo and uh, they are used in one or other part okay then uh, you can see that in your fashion styles also bam like uh, hats baskets toys okay chopsticks and band uh, even papers and weapons also okay so you can find the different uh, myriad of uses of uh, bamboo okay so they are also used as the their wood is a stem is also used as the fuel wood and to build the houses okay so they can be used as the building material also okay and so there are different actually i can say that numerous uses of these bamboos okay they are used as building material also you can see that the bridges are also made of then in other hand loom or crafts are prepared from the bamboos so numerous of uh, myriad, myriad of uses are there regarding the bamboos so that's why you can see that how important is this piece bamboos okay means uh, you can see that uh, they are the habitat means stay of habitat for the 
by life also and uh, in our daily craft daily uses daily in the other there are other many different uses of these species okay so actually what is so in the, if you uh, talk about this uh, binar if i come to the main topic then uh, we can say that bamboos they are actually monocarpic okay means they exhibit the monocarpic flowering behavior monocarpic means these bamboos dies after the flowering the plant species monocarpic plant species which dies after the flowering okay so they are called as monocarpic okay so bamboos exhibit the monocarpic flowering behavior okay and uh, their inflorescence is compound inflorescence and uh, after the fertilization this uh, means poly after the pollination fertilization take place and seed formation occurs okay so bamboo flowering if it, bamboo flowering is a peculiar phenomenon okay because uh, they have the monocarpic flowering habit so it is a peculiar phenomenon and most of the bamboo flowers plants they flower only once in their life cycle means after the flowering they die most of the species okay and in only uh, however there are some species which flower only once every 40 to 50 years okay or uh, some species they flower only once in the life cycle and some species they flower in 40 to 50 years okay so we can say that this is something mysterious about the bamboo flowering behavior okay bamboo flowering phenomenon okay and uh, mostly so we can say that uh, monocarpic flowering behavior so we can say that the, all the members of his particular species they will flower at the same time means they will flower simultaneously and they will die simultaneously okay so we can say that this situation as a mass suicide okay so after flowering they die in some kind of a mass suicide okay so in that context what is happening now in the binard by life century it has been reported which is under the nilgiri by spray reserve that over the 25% of the bamboo groups in this by binard by life century they have come into the flowering means uh, from the if you from the last one decade if they are noticing that from the last this behavior from the last one decade uh, from the period of 2020 2010 okay and still this phenomenon is going on actually so in this way we can see that uh, as these are uh, monocarpic gregarious flowering so this is actually seriously a threat to the means we can say that uh, for the bio life okay so in that case in this century actually the mainly thorny bamboo species which is bambusa bamboos which is a monocarpic flowering plant monocarpic flowering species of the bamboo and uh, and uh, its uh, flowering cycle varies from 40 to 60 years okay so what has happened that uh, because after the flowering if they die also then seed regeneration will occur so that will also take again uh, 10 years for the regeneration also because uh, although the seed does not have any dormancy they do not don't have any dormancy means they will that will help in the germination fast germination but still for to reaching to the maturity it will take another 10 years okay and uh, another thing is that we need to save the young seedlings or young things from the fires and grazing of the animals also okay and uh, farmers uh, there is another fear that uh, see that uh, there is gregarious flowering of the bamboo trees so definitely there is loss of the habitat so that may actually farmers are also in fear that the loss of this habitat major habitat in the century that may lead to escalation of uh, animal human conflict okay so that is uh, another problem related to this so likewise this if i tell you that in china also uh, this is a study was published uh, in the year 2019 so in that study they reported that widespread bamboo flowering poses massive threat to dwindling giant panda population okay so this was uh, in the china also this, this if i give you this another example that in china also they, they are flowering in bamboos in the study it was reported that that was posing a serious threat to this uh, giant panda so if you see that this uh, giant panda it is actually the national animal of china okay this giant panda is national animal of china and uh, they are in, in that study it was reported that that uh, in the southern south western china actually the hundred of giant pandas they died due to starvation because the bamboos widespread bamboos they went they mainly depends on bamboo shoots for their food okay so that study actually was published in the journal biological conservation and the scientist reported that bamboo flowering it could pose a massive risk to the survival of china's national animal so that's why because that uh, like i told you that by this giant pandas these giant pandas actually 
for them the most uh, their main source of nutrition is bamboo shoots and uh, they refuse to eat the bamboo trees when they are in the flowering the bamboo shoot when they are in the flowering okay and the next uh, uh, the shoots will come into the majority after the 10 years after the regeneration so that's why the loss of the food, major food source that is uh, posing a serious threat to the giant panda china's national animal too okay chinese national animal also under the uh, under serious threat due to the this gregarious bamboo flowering habit so but scientists have recommended that we should use the different species in the century we should go for the uh, germination or growing of the different bamboo species which have the different flowering habit okay so some has the monocarpic or some has the flowering habit is 40 to 60 year cycle so some we need to actually look for the alt, uh, rotation in we can say that uh, different species we need to grow the different species in the by centuries that could be one of the option actually so you can see that uh, then ideal giant panda habitat it must therefore contain at least two bamboo species that flower at different times to allow the pandas to migrate from one bamboo patch to another when the first species flower okay so that is the one of the better or good option and uh, i think so that uh, across uh, india should also adopt for this and uh, because different bamboo species they have the different flowering habit bearing from the 20 to 60 years okay so that is the best option that use of the different species in a particular place in a particular century okay because if uh, one species they come into flowering then they can shift to the uh, another one second one okay so you can see that in detail if you want to study uh, read about this uh, whole study about the next that uh, next by spread bamboo flowering poses a massive risk to the giant panda so you can see that uh, conservation of the bamboos it is also uh, important one of the important for the wildlife whether it is in india or in uh, china or any other places of the world but because they are serving you can see that there are different uses of the bamboo trees more than 1500 traditional uses already has been reported then other uh, uses also they are also serving as the food source for the humans for the livestock also okay like you see the pandas or other livestock okay they are the source of habitat also mainly have main mainstay of habit mainstay in there in the habitat of the wildlife okay so that's why this uh, flowering is gregarious flowering of the bamboo trees actually it is, it is a serious concern and we need to look for the alternatives and the management practice better management practices whether you go for the growing of the two different species okay like that so anyway with this i would like to end today's lecture and uh, if you find something interesting and if you like the video please share subscribe and like okay and uh, with this i would say thank you stay happy stay blessed and stay safe thank you